As an actress Meghan Markle would have been sent bags full of free designer clothes but as soon as the ring went on that wedding finger, those dazzling days were over. From Meghan's $1,000 dazzling Amanda Wakely coat to her $800 line engagement coat, Meghan's style has captured the world's imagination. While most of us think designers are bombarding her with free gear, an outfit worn by Prince Harry's wife to be a sure sellout and the publicity generated would be priceless, this isn't actually the case. Although designers descend Meghan, 36, a bounty of beautiful items most of us could only dream of, she picks up the bill for the outfit she actually wears. It's not all free, which is what many of us assume. Image, AFP, Meghan's outfits are carefully chosen but she picks up the tab, Image, PA, it has been reported that royals do not accept designer clothes for free, but pay for them out of their own pocket and always send the clothes not worn back to the owner. People reports par like Kate Middleton's, Natasha Archer, call in several options from designers, after they have chosen an outfit the others are returned and the one that is worn is paid for. Although everything changes when Meghan and Harry tie the knot on May 19th wedding at Street George's Chapel. Line renamed this coat the Meghan after she wore it for the official engagement announcement image, I Images Picture Agency. The engaged couple lead the Endeavor Fund Awards Ceremony image, GC Images. After the wedding Meghan's clothing budget for official outings will be covered by the money that Prince Charles gives to Prince William, Kate 33-year-old Harry from his Duchy of Cornwall income of about £20 million. This is a budget which royals say is needed for their public life and as well as lovely shoes it includes office workers, drivers and even stationery. Meghan earned an estimated £45,000 an episode by the end of her seven-year run on Suits and is thought to be worth £4 million. Page 2 New photos of Meghan Markle toting a handgun have been uncovered. The actress pointed the gun at the camera in photos obtained by The Sun. Royal bride to be was posing with a powerful Glock 17 after learning how to use the weapon for TV police roles. A source revealed to the publication, she was a complete natural. The royal family really is getting an all action princess. She's incredibly well trained and prepared, just like her ex army husband. Meghan attended the one day session for firearms training in 2009 at a gun club in British Columbia, Canada. The gun she practiced with gets its Glock 17 name by being able to fire 17 rounds. Meghan starred in Fringe in 2009, Image, Fox, another source added, Meghan was keen to learn how to properly hold, fire, reload and move with a handgun. She learned quickly and did very well. There were only positive things to say about her. By the end of the session, she could easily pass as someone who has experience with handguns. Megan went on to play junior FBI agent Amy Jessup in TV sci-fi show Fringe that same year and Officer Liam and Toya in CSI, Miami in 2010. The royal bride to be posed with a gun in a scene, image, Fox, Prince Harry has refused to sign a prenup, image, wire image, these new photos come after it was revealed that Prince Harry has refused to sign a prenup before his wedding to Meghan Markle, insisting his marriage will last. The prince, who will wed 36-year-old Meghan on May 19, was thought to have been prompted to sign an agreement with his fiancée to ring fence his whopping £30 million pound pound fortune. Insiders are thought to have cited her first marriage to American film producer Trevor Engelson which lasted just under two years. But the insistent 33-year-old prince bashed away the claims, telling pals his marriage will not end in divorce. There was never any question in Harry's mind that he would sign a prenup, his friend told the Daily Mail. He's determined that his marriage will be a lasting one, so there's no need for him to sign anything.